Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over um, CSS border radius property so that you can give your containers, your block elements, rounded corners. And that's pretty cool, so I've just got a page here set up. By the way, this is a normal uh, web page, doc type definition for HTML5, head section that has title, meta, uh, meta tags, and it does have a style section, which I'll use in just a moment. Body my page just has a headline 1. I'm going to go ahead and create a div container. How about if I call this... Um, div ID equals uh, container1, very creative name, and I'll put some content in here. Okay, so I have a div and it has some content. And border radius is really easy to use. All I have to do is head up to my style section, and I'm going to manipulate my div with ID container1, that's my selector an ID selector, and I'm going to use the CSS property border radius colon, and then I'm going to put in one unit of measurement. I will put in 20 pixels, and then I can just close my curly braces, and let's see what happens, and we'll talk about it here. So I'll just go ahead and hit save. I'm going to jump over to Firefox first, refresh, oh, I can't see it. Let me put a background color on there. We still may not have some success, but let's, let's see what happens here. Background color. Um, how about um, a light green, I think that is. There we go, and you can just barely see it. Let me zoom in a bit. Cool. So now we have a div with rounded corners. That's pretty easy to do. And let's see, I'm going to do a couple things to make this stand out a little bit more to us. How about if I set the width to be 300 pixels and the height to be 100 pixels. Excellent. So now we can see where I've got that rounded corner. Clearly I've got a little problem with my text, so I'll want to adjust that and put in um, probably some padding on this container to make sure that's not an issue. Go ahead and take care of that. 15 pixels of padding. There we go. Any quite that much. So that's the basic border radius. And this is a really great tool now because years ago, in order to get rounded corners, you have to do it used to have to do this tricky thing with um, taking an image and slicing it up and putting that image in the corners and stuff like that. So it's a, this is a much faster and easier way to go. So let's see, this is Firefox 4 that I've got this in. Uh, let's see, how's it looking in Chrome? Okay, there's Chrome. Of course, it looks smaller because I didn't zoom in on my text. And I also have IE9 here also. There we go. So there's IE9. So everything's looking pretty good in all our modern browsers. I'll just kind of minimize those, head back over to my text editor. All right, so that's pretty easy to use. Now, there's a couple variations you can do with border radius. I'm going to take this property and put it right up at the top. So there it is. So, so if you're familiar with using something like the margin property, you'll know that um, if I use one unit of measurement, it handles all four sides, or in this case, all four corners equally. Well, what if I put two units of measurement in? How about something like 20 pixels and 60 pixels? When I do this, it's going to manipulate the top left corner, the bottom right corner at 20, and the bottom left and the top right at 60. Well, let's check it out, and then we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and save here, jump back over to my browser, and refresh. And then we can get, you know, so we got the 20 pixel radius over here, 20 pixel radius down here in the lower right, and 60 pixel radius up in the bottom left and the top right. So that could be kind of neat too for a particular container. Now you can also be really creative with some things. What if we do something like this? And I'm going to make this a little bit darker so we can see it easier. How about a 090? That's a stronger green. There we go. So it really stands out now. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is um, put in four units of measurement. So I got 20 pixels, 60 pixels, I'll do 120 pixels, and then 200 pixels. So this is going to work clockwise around our container starting with that top left corner. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, jump back to my browser, refresh, there we go. So there's 20, 60, 120, and 200 to make, you know, just really to make a wacky looking container. And that looks kind of neat. All right, so that's the basics there with border radius. Now, there's a few other properties that you can also use. Let me just go ahead and take this div, copy it, paste, and I'll call this container2. And let's see, then I can uh, just take this whole CSS rule, paste it, and now I can manipulate container2. 
and instead of or maybe in addition to using border radius you can be very specific and I can say something just like border top left radius okay and let me just start off with something like uh, 40 pixels and I will refresh there we go and let me uh, resize my browser here a bit so you can see this so you can see this is the top left corner of my second container let me put a little bit more space on this one so I'm gonna do a little margin top of 22 pixels sure there we go so now they're separated so I've controlled just my top left now you could kind of uh, you could have accomplished this with the same property we did before just by setting the other corners to zero but uh, this is one way to go but we can also do a little variation with this I can put in a couple units of measurement here also so border top left left radius I'm gonna do this as uh, how about 100 pixels space 10 pixels there you go. I'm going to save that. So I got 100. I have 110 for border top left radius. Go ahead and save that. Jump over to my browser. Refresh. And so kind of check this out. Basically what's happening is the, my big number, 100, so my radius is starting about 100 pixels into the horizontal positioning of this corner and only 10 pixels down. So let's exaggerate this. What if I go 200? So 100, 200. So it'll be 100 across the top and 200 down. So let me save that. Browser. Refresh. There we go. So 100 pixels across the top is being affected. And now 200 pixels going down is being affected. So that you can maybe do some pretty cool shapes with that particular way. So that's a little bit about border radius. And it's working with all the modern browsers. And uh, have fun with it.